Hey, fans, beer lovers. Um, today's part two of my double down. Silly name for uh, three double IPA reviews. Um, yesterday did uh, Lost Coast's Fog Cutter. Um, that's one back in this playlist. And today, and, and I gave you a bonus with the hop nosh. No bonus today. Today we're going to... Um, we're going to hit one of my absolute favorite breweries and absolute favorite beers, which is why I don't buy it often. Um, as normal, I'm going to bring up Beer Advocate and I'm going to give you what people are saying out there about Firestone Double Jack. Um, Firestone or Firestone beers were some of my first let's just say quality ipas that i drank with um union jack wookie jack and um um well oh, now of course i'm going to forget let me let me get a name up here for you let's see it wasn't uh let's see double barrel ale okay not an ipa i know but Double Barrel Ale, DBA, was like when I was getting out of loggers, right? Because I'm just an American white guy. So I stopped, you know, I got from loggers and started drinking DBA and really liked that at the time, which was, you know, for me, a way more hoppy um, palate, way more hoppy notes than I had ever been used to drinking. And then from there, it just went downhill. But Firestone, I generally say Firestone is my favorite brewery when asked because I like everything. I like everything they brew that I've had. Um, I've only had, let's look at their list on Beer Advocate, and I'll tell you what I've had. Obviously, 805. Everybody's had 805 by now, which I think is a good, a smart move by them. It's um, There's a lot of breweries that will do something that's supposed to you know, appeal to the masses, and they never get it right. 805 does it well. Uh, this is a long list. Um, I've barely had any. DBA, double DBA I've had once. Don't remember it. Double Jack, Easy Jack is one of, is, is very good. I like it. Their Extra Pale Ale I've had. Um, their Firestone 19 anniversary was very good. Let's see. Who did do do do? Um... I've not had these luponic distortions. I've never even heard of them till right now. The Merlin, Nitro Merlin, good. Um, it's a, it's called a milk sweet stout. I can eat one of them. I mean, drink one of them. It's like a pork chop. Tap Room IPA, I've heard is good. I've never been to their tap room. And I haven't had Union Jack um, unfiltered. They have an unfiltered DBA as well. I've not had those. Um, and they make... Um, they brew three beers for Yard House. I'm a regular attendant at Yard House. My wife and I like that as our go-to date night restaurant. And um, they make their IPA, their Hef, and their Am Amber Ale. So just a little trivia. So we're gonna we're gonna get into Double Jack. Um, I've got a bomber. Looks like a that. Let me get my fingers out of the way for you. Um, it's great. Beer Advocate average is 95, and I couldn't agree more. Um, the uh, I haven't had it in a while either. It's been it's been six months, I bet, since I've had one. So I'm excited. Um, if I remember right, it has a very typical coloring for a double dark orange amber, right? Um, I don't recall. I don't recall being overwhelmed by the carbonation or anything like that. Um, but I know, as as a regular Firestone connoisseur, no consumer, <laughs> that I'm gonna get plenty on my nose because, and that's what I like about. I'm trying to save that bottle cap. Yeah, it's all right. Anyway, they have um, 
you know, Firestone's deal is they have a, a, a lion and a bear. And this one's got the bear on it. I've got a, oh, it's not in here. I moved it to my patio. I got a, a metal sign from them and a, uh, a bottle opener. So um, my no-name goblet today. And let's see what kind of head we can get on this. Gorgeous. Yes, that's the color. See, it's um, it's not it's not it's not cloudy. It's slight. I guess that's slightly cloudy. Um, actually, in the picture, you're getting some condensation on the glass, but um, it's it's more clear than um, a lot of doubles. But there's that amber orange color. It's not dark. A lot of people think double. Blah blah blah. Anyway. Yep. Yeah, I like that right there. Oh, God, this will be my first time with them reviewing them here for you, so I'm going to try to identify grapefruit. Yep. Hmm. So, oh, wow. Yeah, there. So there's... Something very fresh tasting about Double Jack. Triple dry hopped, mental note for me. It'll be gone in 10 minutes. Triple dry hopped. Um, I'm gonna learn what that means. Because I know there's you know different points, different places to hop, different times to achieve different results. Um, What do we got for alcohol? It doesn't. I can't taste it. Nine point five. Holy mackerel. Well, actually, yeah, I can feel it in my nose. So, um, okay, let's go way back to the beginning. So, I I immediately got the grapefruit on the nose. It's not like super strong. I mean, there are other doubles will have you know, the the fog cutter didn't really. But, you know, it must have to do with when they hop it and how much comes out in the um, in the carbonation. Nice, creamy lattice work, similar to Fog Cutter holds on. Fog Cutter, I think, held on a little longer. Um, I like it. So the I'm getting sweet on the front of the tongue. I guess that means, that means malt, right? Sweetness is malt. Sugar, it's a good beer. This is very good. I really, really like Firestone. They're just, they hit home runs, at least the ones I've had. Like I said, I've had maybe eight of their varieties. I don't know how many I counted when I was talking to you guys. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Let's go into, let's get on here. Um, on Beer Advocate, and let's see if if I hit what some other people say see in it. That's a, you know you know what I'm trying to say. So generally, um, in above four on everybody's average, four and a half ish. So um, candied citrus for the smell. Well, I, I smell grapefruit. Here's another guy, grapefruit. Um, palette is grassy piney hops you know maybe when i said fresh maybe grassy is a great word for that yeah i don't i don't know how to pick these tiny little things i'm sensing I don't know how to categorize them really that well. <clears throat> I'm okay with hitting the fruit, the citrus notes, because it's an IPA and I'm drinking all the time, so I know what that is. Um, but that, that well, I guess what this guy is calling grassy, where is he? Lost him already. But so, okay, so I get sweetness. So let's pretend that I'm right and say that's malt. Whatever it is, I can feel the sweet. Bitter on the back of the tongue. 
um, <clears throat> from the hops. The, the citrus is warming my tongue, but the whole area in my mouth is um, fresh, I guess grassy, but I don't want to act like it's a vegetable, but it's, it's a light, uh, there's something light and fresh there. I'm going to stop saying fresh. So anyway, I'm going to, I'm going to cut this one off. I've been talking 10 minutes about Double Jack. I like it. Um, Firestone Walker, I will link to them in the description. Um, I need to go tag them and Lost Coast. Um, but I'm going to do a third part three of this and then I'll, and I'll go on social media and tag all three videos with the brewers um, and that other one will come either later today or probably tomorrow the next day for part three <clears throat> and I'll throw in something with the part three I got two gluten-free beers my wife um, avoids gluten and I mean I do to some degree not with beer obviously so I've got two gluten-free beers it's hard to find a good gluten-free beer um, they, they can do lagers pretty good Mission, or excuse me, Omission makes a decent pale ale and their IPA is okay. I mean, for a gluten-free beer to drink it, it, I like it. You know, it, is it the best IPA or pale ale I've ever had? No. Their lager is a little better, but there, there's some of the sour gum, um, if I'm saying that right, some of the sour gum gluten-free beers, they're just, they just don't taste good. So, um. Maybe I'll throw, we've got two in there. We've got Omission and another one from Traders, NGB, just non-gluten beer. Um, so maybe I'll try that. I think it's a lager we got. So maybe I'll do that one as the bonus with the third IPA in part three. Anyway, I'm Hoppy Gamer. Today's Super Bowl Sunday. Don't forget to go back one video and my Super Bowl prediction is in there. Um, it's only 12.03 p.m. And I've not, <clears throat> you know, I kick off still three and a half hours away or the show. Who knows when the kickoff really is. So uh, Super Bowl 50, I picked the Broncos with some caveats. Basically, if they can do some things that I was talking about, I think they've got this game um, for good reason, I think. Thank you. Please subscribe. Check you on the flip side.